Day 71, everybody. Look at that. That is cooking up big time. So in the morning, you know, a lot of times I'll cook up some eggs and uh, eggs cook up really fast, but steak doesn't necessarily cook up fast. But this is why I use the crock pot. Look at this meat. You can pull it. See how it's pulling right off there? Look at that. It's freaking amazing. So this is already, this is already cooked. It's just been sitting in here for one day and sitting in some bone broth. And now it just sits on the counter for the next two, three days. Uh, ready to eat. I just set the crock pot on warm and then it's ready to go. So you can see how soft and tender it is. A big old slab of, this is a chuck roast by the way. This is the kind of the best thing to put in here. There we go. Yep. Yep. So I decided to cook up a prime New York strip. The reason is, is the crock pot meat, it takes a little longer so it's ready to eat now. It tastes really good. It'll taste better later on in the day, so I'll try to. I'll have that probably later on today, maybe for lunch or something. <clears throat> I've been eating anywhere between two to three times a day, eating in the morning and just later on at night. Today I'll probably eat a bunch of times because um, I'll probably put up some big squatting. So I want to squat, put a little extra into it. <clears throat> I might have some In-N-Out burger at lunch or something like that, or, or this stuff. Just kind of see where the day takes me. But uh, on top of this, I put some pork fat, which is just bacon grease, which is sitting right here. It sounds gross, but that's gonna cook up really good. It's gonna be delishy. About ready to flip. <clears throat> Let's see how close I can get without burning myself. You can see some brownness coming up from the bottom. You see that? That's a good sign when it's time to flip. And we're only on 300 or so or 350. So this side shouldn't really burn. Although it looks kind of charred. <clears throat> it's uh, still soft and not dry. So we now we got some steak and eggs going. I threw some cheese on there. You don't usually see cheese thrown on eggs like that. But there's no rules for Smelly's Kitchen. Eggs came out to my liking. A little bit of cheese in them. Finishing off the steak over here. I shut the, uh, the grill off. Just kind of finishing her up. People don't like these steak weight things, but I think they're pretty handy. You can see it's not really squishing the, not squishing all the stuff out. It's not squishing all the juices out. Despite what the internet says, you don't see it like <coughs> drying that thing out at all. It just puts a little compression on there. It's hard to see. Squished underneath there. Got some blood work back recently. I know a lot of you guys have a lot of questions, but my, um, my cholesterol, for some reason, was at 1,200. And uh, the doctor said that um, he's never seen anything like that before. I'm actually just kidding. Uh, my cholesterol was good. My cholesterol to triglycerides was good. My in insulin was low. So most of my markers for health were really good. I'll go over it in more detail with you guys. What I wanted to share right now is a lot of you say that you're going to be flat on a carnivore diet and that you can't be glycogenated, that you can't have glucose running through your veins. Well, I haven't found that to be true at all. In fact, uh, my resting fasted glucose after 14 hours of fasting was 99. I'm not bragging that my glucose was kind of on the high, but what I am saying is that you can be glycogenated, you can be full. And in addition to that, most diets, doesn't matter what diet that you do, all bodybuilders go through this, all people that lose weight end up getting flat. You can ask any bodybuilder, and then what they do, they carb up, right? In this case, we don't really carb up, we just might eat more. And then we get that blood glucose back up, as you've seen with my fasted, after 14 hours of fasting, my resting glucose was 99. 
still performing like a savage in the gym. You guys are seeing the lifts, they're going up. I feel amazing. I do use performance enhancing drugs. I'm not ashamed to say that. I get them prescribed by a doctor nowadays. Not that that makes it any more legitimate, but that's just the way I do it. I'm an open book, ain't got nothing to hide. The diet's working great for me, and I think it will work great for a lot of you, whether you do PEDs or whether you're smart enough to do PEDs or not. <laughs> just kidding. Strength is never weakness, weakness is never strength. Catch you all later. Just came out of my chiropractic appointment here at uh, Fit House in Davis. Michelle Chu is the one who fixes me up all the time. Uh, please come visit her if you're in the area. She does a great job. Active release therapy. She just did some work on my hip. And uh, I don't know why, but my hip was super tight yesterday while benching. Uh, my hamstrings haven't been able to really release in a while either. And uh, she really fixed both of those things up. She got into my shoulder a little bit, which felt a little wonky. You guys may have saw me doing some of those uh, shoulder presses yesterday. It just wasn't feeling great on any of those movements. So got it all taken care of, got it all cleared out. And I have a standing appointment with, with her uh, a few times a month. I, I kind of come and go here. I'm, sometimes I'm healthy enough and not uh, training hard enough to even warrant going to her. But uh, it helps a lot. So if you're banged up and you're anywhere near Davis, California, come visit Michelle, Michelle too. She really knows what she's doing. Um, you can uh, you can check her out. Uh, let's see, what is her, what's the name of her thing? Anyway, just look up Michelle Chu and Davis and you'll find out information. You can make appointments online. Uh, you'll find her website when you look her up. And uh, again, the name of the gym is called Fit House Davis. I suppose you could all actually call there too to find out more information about her. But she does a bang up job. About to head to the gym, doing an interview today with Evan Carmichael who uh, inspires millions of people through his YouTube channel where he does like a top 10 list of things that you need to know about like Steve Jobs, a top 10 list uh, you need to know about um, uh, Bill Gates, top 10 you need to know about, you know, Andy Frisella or top 10, you need, I don't know if he's done Andy Frisella, but he's done any of these, any of these freaks out there that are dominant CEOs that are uh, kicking ass and um, even further beyond that, like he's done one on like Bruce Lee, he's done one on just about everybody and anybody you can think of. He's done a top 10 list for, or top 12 or top 15. He's done one for like Jordan Peterson. He's had a huge impact on my life and that's why I'm bringing him to you guys. That's, that's what I like to do with a lot of these videos and a lot of the stuff that I'm shooting is when I find something cool, I like to deliver it out to you. So really looking forward to hopping on a Skype call with him today crazy you know because personal development is fun uh, but you can also make yourself a little bit nutty with it so uh, how have you been able to execute on this put these videos together and then maybe still have time for other things and to be like a rational person and not fall too deep into like everything's got to be focused in on being a better person 24 7. Five guys order coming in this guy is bulking, getting ready for the contest, so he ate a normal burger like a normal person with a bun. <laughs> Not me. I gotta be weird. Let's see what we got under thing number one. I think I accidentally ordered 10 patties instead of eight patties, but we'll see what we end up with. That looks delicious. Here we go. Unveiling burger number six here. Burger number five and burger number six. Pretty good pace going here. See if we can keep it going. Coming down to the end here. This is uh, represents patty number seven and patty number eight. I've talked about this before. We're here at Five Guys today. I've talked about this before, where people hate on you know these meats and they say they're processed meats and that they're super unhealthy. Uh, I'm not saying this in a derogatory way, but if you have any information on the practices of Five Guys, In-N-Out Burger, Wendy's, McDonald's. I'd love to hear it. Uh, I'm being very honest, I'd love to know more because as far as I know, as much as I've looked into it, I haven't really found or seen any reason to believe that this is more unhealthy than what you can get at your grocery store. And I've looked into it pretty good, but I just I haven't found anything. Maybe some of you guys would be able to help. As it stands right now, I'm not gonna wait for a peer-reviewed study. I'm gonna keep it.
Time to spot in a little bit here. Might be hard to spot with this much meat sitting in my stomach, but we'll see if we can figure it out. Could go over there and get some bread. I right, go over here and get some burgers. Five guys. Went to five guys with this guy. This guy trying to pretend that he's not fat. But he's looking a little fluffy, getting ready for his first meat. Some yummy, yummy food. The West Side Selfie. Doing some squats over here. Let's go. Let's go. Five guys, bitches. <laughs> That's what that workout was fueled by. It was fueled by eight five guys patties. Thank you, five guys. Shout out. Thank you for the sponsorship. Really appreciate it. Just kidding. Maybe I'm not kidding. I don't know. Anyway, had some delicious patties from five guys. They did the trick. I ended up squatting that uh, 505 and a smashy smash of Ruski. Felt really good. Um, 505 pounds of bar weight, 150 plus pounds of bands. It's hard to kind of tell, but I would say it's at least 150 in bands. Well, that puts us at 655, and it's 120, 120 pounds, heavy ass pounds of chains. So you know that that lift is well over 700 pounds. You know, if my math if my math is correct, ladies and gentlemen. Which why would anything Mark Smelly Bell say? Why would it be incorrect? Feeling good, feeling awesome. 
going from one restaurant to another because I'm fat. Heading out to Bud's with my family. Going to enjoy that. And uh, that'll be it. You know, that'll be it for day number 71, I believe. I believe it's day number 70. Oh, when I go home, I'm going to drink some milk because I'm really enjoying drinking milk. I'm enjoying some heavy cream. I don't know if I included that in today's morning video, but I did have coffee with some milk and some cream in it. I'm going to make sure that I film that in the morning because I think I keep forgetting. But anyway, that's what I'll be getting to when I get home. And uh, looking forward to chowing down at Bud's. Got a New York strip and some shrimp. In our mini office here, this is the slingshot slash mind bullet um, location number two inside the Slinger, Mo Slinger Mansion. There is the original slingshot, the first ever, and there's the patent. Anyway, um, this is the end of another day. I'm about to hop in the shower. I think it's day 71, but don't quote me on that. Had a great workout, had another great day, lots of fun. Lots of new stuff going on at Slingshot. Um, lots of stuff to consider. Lots of craziness going on with the coronavirus. I think, you know, all the schools around the entire country are about to be shut down. That's pretty interesting. I have a lot of travel that's supposed to be coming up. I don't know what uh, what all that's going to bring. But uh, something I want to share on the way out from this day is that I prepare for uh, I prepare for tomorrow. I start preparing for it today. So taking the shower it is uh it's almost 8 p.m hopping in the shower and uh gonna start my night routine bed routine which is just brushing my teeth basically uh throwing on some uh nasal strip here to get the breathing a little bit better and then some mouth tape got the eye mask on i got a whole setup going on and uh just that's my getting to bed thing that i do I keep my phone out of my room. It's not because I don't want the alarm to go off. It's not because I don't want to hit the snooze button. It's just, I don't want the waves near my head, the Wi-Fi waves. Um, if the phone is in my room, if it does stay in my room, then I will turn the Wi-Fi off. I will put the phone in airplane mode. There's nothing that anyone needs to get a hold of me for that would be of any thing major. And so that's what I tend to do. Um, and l lastly, I started adding in a little bit of stretching before I go to bed. When I say a little bit of stretching, I do like two or three movements, but I started out by doing one and now I'm up to two or three. I'll keep it at two or three for a while until I feel like I can add more. It takes me about six minutes, eight minutes to do it. And that's about it. Strength is never a weakness. Weakness is never a strength. Catch you all later. Whoopsh.